What's up, my folks? Hope y'all are doing good. I'm out here doing pest control. My yard's being so good. We squirrel hunting. We gonna kill every one of them little fuckers. It's squirrel season and I'm on a mission. They love it. They'll sit there and wait. <laughs> they know what time it is. But uh, anyway, folks, I was going through a bunch of emails and um, went through a some messages on the phone i had a message from one of you guys uh you left me a message but you didn't leave me the your number You're talking about you have some of my blood you want to talk to me um you got to leave me your number I, I when my phone ain't out here sometimes it don't pick up the call and i don't see the number it's coming from you know what i mean but um yeah just email me or call me back you left you got my number so you're welcome to call me back but anyway let's talk a little bit about something that's been a lot of people, there's a couple things I want to cover, okay? When I said something about books, some of you, and, and I try to help you guys, especially you guys just starting out. Yes, I think books are really good for you. Certain books, okay? I mean, the Stratton books are nice, milk toast, pit bull books. They give you a good outlook. He's, they're put together good. They're entertaining. They're, uh, they're definitely a good read. Um, and, I tell you the book, I don't, I don't care what anyone says about the man. I mean, you know, when you're in these dogs, you'll get beef with people, people will talk shit, but California Jack wrote a fucking good one. That was a good book. It was good for a beginner to get in and, um, it had a lot of the stuff that I've been teaching you basically how to care for a dog. It's got some good caretaking things. Um, a lot of it's dated a little bit, but it's still relevant. You know what I mean? Um, and, and he put it together really well. It's a really good written book. Um, but yeah, let's talk about one of the topics that I've had a question on and on saying stuff, you know, people talking about dry snitching. Well, there's so many ways people dry snitch on these dogs. Okay. You know, the computer is just one little portion of dog stuff in the real world. Like you're, you, I mean, dry snitching can be the, the motherfucker next door that's, bitching about dogs knocking his trash can all over all the time, knowing that, you know, the animal control is going to be coming out there all the time. Secretly, he knows what's going to happen, but let's, I'm going to explain what happens to pe folks from that shit. You know, the, the outcome that happens to individuals, we're out here just raising our family of dogs and then do, sticking to ourselves, not bothering nobody, all that shit. But what happens is that those people come in, they kick your door in, they arrest you, they ram shit shack your house, searching for anything. They'll take pictures, keepsakes, stuff that is irrelevant, but it's your part of your life. You know what I mean? Stuff that you want to keep. They'll they'll evilly take that shit from you. They'll seize all your money. Okay, um, so they'll cut right into your safe, seize your money, seize your shit, take your weapons if you have guns, like or a hunter. You know what I mean? All in the name of these dogs. Okay. Like, our country doesn't have enough fucking shit to worry about. But people think that that, you know, that's what they do to folks. And then you have to prove yourself innocent. It's not that they have to prove you guilty. They come in and take your shit, and you're basically left with your pants down. No funds, no nothing. And then you got to fight them and prove that you're innocent to get your stuff back. Okay? And then that's a nightmare on its own, you know. And the dogs, that's your property too. That's why we keep them on chains. That's why we keep them contained because we're being good owners of our property. Um, they kill them. 99% of the time, they kill them. Occasionally, you'll you'll get here the, the great outlook. People got their dogs back. Um, but m more or less, that's what it's about, destroying your life and, um, you know, taking these dogs. But it can all it all it all can come from anything. It can come from a fucking neighbor uh, sending them down there because they don't like them that you're on. You know, you can be completely legal. Like in my county, we have chain laws here. You have to keep your dogs contained, okay? You have to keep them in a kennel or, or on a good chain out. They have to be taken care of. They have to have proper housing. They have to have, you know, water. Now, I don't keep feed out. Now, I don't know any dog man and any hunter that just keeps free feeding if ants get into it. They're only going to eat so much. I feed once a day. And my puppies, I'll feed them twice a day. You know, little, little puppies, of course, more. But, you know, 
if they're outside in kennels or whatever, they're they're twice a day as a pup and once a day as them, you know, when they get old, a little older, you know, they when they body don't need it twice a day anymore. Um, but that's how we're supposed to keep our dogs. We're, we're actually the people that are, are stitching, dry snitching on folks for shit, shit, saying about chain stuff. Like in my county, I'm the I'm the best citizen. I'm doing right. So those people that just let their shit run around um, and do that and say think they're do, they're a better level on on animal husbandry and love for the animal and just being a good citizen and a good neighbor. You're on a lower scale, okay? We that keep our dogs like this, we are superior to you. We're as especially on banning a law, okay? This is our law. We have to keep these dogs contained. You're supposed to keep every fucking dog contained. There's a leash law. They're not even supposed to be off the leash. So when you got them guys looking at you foul because you're walking your dog down the road with a fucking leash and they're letting their shit run around, oh, it's okay, he won't bite. But It's not that we're not worried about we're trying to protect our dog from the trouble that's going to come when your stupid ass dog comes over and it jumps on ours and ours fucking wrecks him. And then it's a big ordeal. That's what we're trying to prevent. That's not why we keep our dogs put up. I don't keep them on chains because I'm scared my dog will hurt yours. I'm scared that they're going to get hurt for hurting yours. I don't give a shit about your dog or your feelings or any of that. I care about my animals and that's why we keep them contained. Okay. We had a lot of shit going on about that too. But that's a, the main reason a lot of people, neighbors, will, will dry snitch on them. You know, they don't give a shit. They don't understand that what the consequences are. Even if you're, I'm talking about for guys that ain't doing like me, that ain't doing anything wrong. We're not matching dogs here. We're not doing anything like that. We're raising hunting hounds. Good game bred hunting hounds. And, um, you know, there's not a law against that. It's no different from raising fucking rabbits. These are These are our property. You know, some people that raise farm animals, they need their fucking asses kicked. That's the ones that's always bickering, the ones that get these hobby farms. You know, you see people with a, a, a one-acre lot with three horses stuck in that son of a bitch, but they'll call, say shit about you having your dogs on chains. That's the kind of people that do it. Or people that let their cats run over the fucking neighborhood or something. Just, I've lived the whole gamut of it. I've experienced it. And that's how they do it. They'll dry snitch on you. They might call because dogs keep getting in their trash, but they're really right next to you. They know when that animal control comes by and he sees you, you're going to be like, huh, let's go fuck with this guy. Let's make these trips worthwhile. And now they're so high on this shit, they got it like it's a drug or something. They come in and take your shit, seize you, arrest you, and you got to prove you're fucking innocent. And the neighbor don't care. It didn't cost him everything he had and ever worked for. It didn't cost him his animals. You know, I, I, you know, I used to be in this hunting club. This is funny. This is dry snitching backfiring on a motherfucker. I used to be in this hunting club, and there was an old man that lived. Well, basically, we rode right by his road, down his road in front of his house to go to our gate. So, he, And he was the only place there. He had pastures and shit. And, uh, so, of course, you know, back then it was a lot of outlaw hunting down there. You know what I mean? And uh, people would ride by and shoot deer at night and all that shit. And he fucking call the game board but he was bad about the shit he was bad about, i'm watching him mow over some deer and back then you couldn't just shoot those our dogs are, we were deer hunting with dogs you know and our dogs would be running doe we'd catch him up she'd run over into one of his pastures he'd cut her ass down go over there and get her in his tractor and take her back i mean we never called the law on him or anything like that i mean shit the old man's probably done that his whole fucking life you know what i'm saying but he was bad about it he was bad and he, he was bad about trying to call on anybody else for for doing anything fucked up you know and he he called them kept saying people were night hunting out there night hunting out there calling they called the fucking law well the night the night after he calls the fucking law this wise ass decides to shoot a buck out of one of his pastures that game warden was sitting right there and under not very far off and just kind of went to the shot watched him go out get the deer in his tractor hang him under the pole barn with the light on him that fucker sat back and let him put him in the cooler, cut him up, put him in the cooler and everything. Then went up there, wrote him a citation, wrote him a big old fine, and then took his cooler deer meat for evidence. <laughs> I'm like, that was some shit that was, it, to me, I've always thought that was funny as hell that it turned back on him like that, you know. But yeah, it don't happen often, but when it does, it's hilarious. 
but uh, anyway, folks, yeah, that shit goes on. It's not just in in the computers, okay? People are just saying names and all that. That's, that can get bad because that you got a whole generation that just sits at computers and pretends to be dogmen and fronts. I'll even get fucking dogs nowadays. You know what I mean? And just to to catch you tripping up or slipping up or saying something about somebody so they can take that information. And that on somebody they didn't know nothing of and go look at him. You know what I'm saying? And that, that it kind of, you know, it causes problems when you talk about people that still breed dogs, even if they're not doing anything wrong. It's the location they're at. You know what I mean? At that area, if they got it hard on for these dogs in that area and you're getting uh, a different type of government in that area that's going to cater to these, they're going to do everything they can to raise money and all that shit in the lobby it's just a it's a political th- it's a political hit jobs what these dogs are but uh you know in in those certain areas man they don't have laws like we do they don't have you know rights for people to breed hunting dogs and um enjoy this lifestyle they're trying to kill this lifestyle i've told you a hundred times but that's what happens when people it's not a uh, they don't just come out and say oh man your dogs look great no they're gonna fucking it don't matter it don't matter if you spend hours a day out here with them. And the asshole that lives down the road maybe only spends 30 minutes a day with his dog. He dumps some old pedigree in a bowl for him. And the dog fends for himself all week. You know what I'm saying? And he's running around doing whatever he wants. Those guys think that they're, they're morally high ground than we are. They got a moral high ground on us is what they think. But really, they're being a lesser citizen, a lesser neighbor, and that lesser everything. But they can't see it like that. Because they don't, you know, they think we're we're the ignorant ones, you know. But it all comes in all shapes and sizes, and ninety percent of the people that uh, man, I know I'm gonna bust one's ass here in a second. But uh, ninety percent of the people that fucking get in trouble are either from the it's from either someone else getting in trouble, and they they using that information like they did with Randall actually you know, over some bullshit, you know, or uh, dry snitching, you know. Either someone flat out just told on you or they got information from somebody somewhere. How? Or people saying so much ignorant, stupid shit online, you know what I mean? Like, first of all, the, the law wouldn't give a fuck about these dogs, really, if there wasn't a lot of money involved. They think that they, they think that the... The, the money involved is unbelievable. And they, you know, you can't keep going online and talk about half million dollar shows and all this other bullshit and expect some man with a badge not to look into it. You know what I'm saying? And then in the same sentence, be dropping folks' names that, you know, it, it, it that's going to cause problems. I mean, it's common sense is going to tell you that. They, like I, I've told y'all, they have a task force in every freaking state against dogfighting. And they automatically see it don't matter. I mean, it they are, some states classify a dog with a big head, a shorts coat, and and stocky. That's a pit bull. It don't matter if it is or if it ain't. You know what I mean? That's how bad it's gotten. But and then the the worst part is that we don't police ourselves. We don't police ourselves. You know, some people that shouldn't have these dogs that cannot take good care of them, and really shouldn't have them. Hell, we don't we don't say, man. I mean, of course you, you can't do nothing if you don't know. But once you know that's how it is, you know, motherfucker, let a dog starve to death in a pen and shit like that, and freeze to death and and all that. That ain't a good dog, man. I don't give a shit what how much money he had, and went and what he bought or whatever. Somebody like that, that's not a good dog, man. That's not a good image for for none of us. You know, we need to start policing ourselves better. But anyway, folks, y'all take care. Y'all stay safe. Keep on bulldogging. And yeah, it's that shit happens every day. Y'all take care.